Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive Premium Tutorials. Now here we will create dust effect on the television, on the whole television basically. And you can see it is divided into different UVs. So if I will apply it right now, so there will be seams and it will not look good. So there will be breakups. So to avoid that, we have a node which is called triplanar node. So I will use triplanar uh, grayscale node. Okay. And what this node needs is position and world space normal and input of whatever you want to apply on it. And then you can take output from it. So for the position, we have to bake a texture map with B sphere. Okay, so I will add a, a first of all, world space normal because it needs a world space normal also. I will add world space normal and position. So position have to be B sphere. So make sure it is B sphere. Okay, rest everything I will keep it as it is. Okay, and PNG I'm using that 4K resolution for both of them, and I will render it. Now world space normal position both are rendered. I'm not rendering opacity mass, so I uncheck that. So here I have my world space normal and substance po uh, like position. So I will take these. Okay, this is position, so I will connect to the position and I will take the world space normal and I will put this in the world space normal here. Okay, so they both are connected. I will dock them to save space. And now I will take a grunge map and put this grunge map in the input. Okay, and if I double click it here, this is how it will look like. Now, if I will apply this grunge map on the television, so it will act like a triplanar. There will be no issue in it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just put this here and I will add a dust node here. And inside the dust, dust node, I need ambient occlusion and uh, like world space normal or normal, whatever you uh, want to apply, and mask. In the mask, I will apply this triplanar grunge, and then I will take this ambient occlusion and I will apply the ambient occlusion to the ambient occlusion, and I will take the normal and I will apply the normal to the world space normal. Okay, now I have this here, and you can see how this looks like okay now i will take this and alt alt here and then what i will do i will add a blend node here put this in the opacity okay and then what i will do is i will create a gradient Put the gradient here in the foreground. Okay. And now uh, let's take the opacity and put in the gradient basically. So this is how it will look like. Okay, right now. And you can see there is no seam, there is no cut. It looks like overall applied on the like, television. So that's a really good way of applying uh, these stuff. Now I will take the same output and I will put this inside the opacity map. And I will apply a, a grayscale conversion to it. So it will be converted into grayscale also. And as you can see, this is how it looks like right now. Okay. So this is not the result I'm looking for. Let's do some changes here. So what I will do here is that. Mm, let's think about it. So. Let's do one thing. Let's remove this from here or uh, undo that. Okay. I'll take this. Uh, let's, let's see what we can do. Okay. So I'll add a uniform color or Let's see what do we have. Okay, so this is in the opacity. 
So I will add a uh, let's add a uniform color. Put this in the foreground. And this is the effect we are getting, but it's very subtle. It's very low level effect. And this is not what I'm looking for. I need it to be harsh. So I will take I will put this uh in the foreground. Okay. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, here I'll add the gradient map. And looks good, but it's covering everything. That's the issue. So let's change the blending mode and see what best blending mode we can get. So add will look like this. I think we will use add or something. Okay, copy. This is copy. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's take this. Okay, and take the gradient editor. Pick the gradient. I have some images I have downloaded of the sand. So I will use my pick gradient. And I will take these gradient and see which looks better. This looks good. Okay. Let's see others also. Let's check this. This is also fine. And let's see this. And this is also good. But I think I'll stick with this one. So let's find the good version of it. Okay, so I think I'll keep this one here. And what I will do is that I will take this and put this in the opacity map here. Okay, but as you can see, it is very subtle. So I will put a gray inversion. Okay, grayscale inversion. Now it's becoming better. Okay. And what I will do here is I will just uh, let's see. Let's play with the settings here of the dust. Okay, because there's too it's too much dust, so I will play with the noise. Okay. So not that much, a little bit. And occlusion, ambient occlusion, let's see. Contrast. Level. So yeah, level will be something that we will play with to lower down the effect. Okay, looks good. Okay, even from the back, it's fine. So let's reduce it a little bit more. So let's see if the contrast affects something. Okay. Let's try the override noise. Just to see if the noise is making any difference there. There is stretch marks there on the top, but we, you can remove those with the mask or something. Okay. 
Now let's go here and what we are going we can do is that we can lower down the opacity of this dusk dust effect. If you want. Otherwise if you want it to be if if you want it to look harsher so you can keep that. Otherwise you can lower down the opacity. Okay. Now that's that is done here with the albedo of this dust. Now we will work on the roughness and the metallic. I'll take this blending node and make two blending nodes and both of them I'll put them here. Okay. Now I'll take the same opacity mask, put it put it in the opacity here. Take this, put this opacity here, and then I will use an uniform color. Wherever there is sand, there shouldn't be any like reflection, so no metallic at all. So I will completely make it black. Okay. And wherever there is sand, so there should be 100% roughness. So I will take the uh, uniform color, add it here, grayscale, and completely white. So you can see that now it makes more sense. Okay, but little little highlight can be there, so you can adjust it because sand sometimes also have little highlights there. Okay. So I hope you have learned something from this lesson and thanks for becoming a member of my premium membership plan. And thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and I hope to receive your support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents I will be uploading soon. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions, then leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have and that is, I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing the same, please stop them because this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me to get new subscriber. I will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on the Interactive, your own training institute. Institute. Institute.